Here's what I have so far for today for Headspace. Hey friends, and what is going on? If you don't know me, my name's Alvin, and I work a full-time job as a project manager. On this channel, I usually create videos to help you grow your career in project management. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different because while I do believe it's very important to go all in, learning new skills and growing your career, I also think that it's very important to prioritize taking care of your mind and your mental health. And it's something that I haven't been doing for the past year myself, if I had to be honest. I've been in a really bad mental spot lately, just feeling in a complete rut. I feel overwhelmed by everything that's going on in my life and just dealing with all the stress the overwhelm and just all these difficult emotions that are just coming through my life. You know, I had a recent health scare in my family that completely took me by surprise. My wife and I are trying to become pregnant, which of course has its own challenges in of itself since we've been trying just for the past half year alone and we haven't had any success yet. Plus I have a day job where I'm balancing all these different projects, which of course leads to all the stress and anxiety buildup in my own professional life. So I wanted to take action and I decided to use the Headspace meditation app, which was created by a former Buddhist monk named Andy Pudicom. A colleague had recommended this app to me because there has been a lot of clinical research showing that if you just do 10 sessions of Headspace, it's actually enough to positively impact your stress levels and your irritability. The 2018 study found that people who used Headspace for only 10 days had an 11% decrease in stress. And after 30 days, they reported a 32% decrease in their stress levels, which is huge. Can you believe that? But not only that, there is so much clinical research out there showing that the Headspace app, it actually works. Now check this out. Studies connected by Northeastern University found that three weeks of Headspace increased compassion by 23% and decreased aggression by 52%. Another study found that Headspace improves our focus by 14%. So I thought, why not give it a chance? I have literally nothing to lose here. After having read through all the different clinical research and just those studies, I was actually very interested in Headspace. At first, just like anybody else, I was really skeptical, but everything just seemed to make sense. So I pulled the trigger and I signed up for a subscription to Headspace. The way it works is you can sign up for a free 14 day trial. It's completely for free in those 14 days. And then if you like it and it's giving you the results that you like, then you can continue on for the full rest of the year for I think it's less than $6 a month at the time of this recording, which translates to roughly less than $70 total for the entire year. The way that I'm justifying this purchase is that it replaces one Starbucks coffee or a drink every month and that's it. It's extremely affordable and the benefits that I hope to get would help improve my mind, my mental health space so I can be happier and better deal with my stress and anxiety levels. It's kind of like a gym membership but for your actual mind. Just as you guys know and as a disclaimer, Headspace is not sponsoring this video. I'm showing my own personal journey using the Headspace app over the next four weeks because I wanna change my mental health for the better. If you decide to use it, check out the links to everything I'm talking about down below. I am a complete beginner to meditation. I have never really done it or practiced it before. And I thought it would be fun to record my own experience to see if I make any progress. So let me take you through my entire journey. Good morning, it is day one, it's about seven o'clock, and I'm excited to start using the Headspace app today. So I'm not sure if you can see it, I'll show on the screen here, but I have, to start my day, I have take five cleansing breaths, clarity in the mind, letting go of stress, and then in the afternoon, I have a course called managing anxiety, and then at night, I have switching off. Now, of course, I don't have to do all of these, but for sure, what I will do is take five cleansing breaths, do the clarity in the mind in the afternoon instead of doing the managing anxiety what i will do is the basics meditation course just so i can get a better understanding on how to actually meditate since i am 
a real beginner in this space. Uh, so overall, I'm feeling pretty good and just really excited to dive into using Headspace. So week one, I'm a complete beginner when it comes to meditation. And on day one, I had absolutely no idea if I was doing it right or wrong. And that's exactly why I signed up for Headspace because it's like my personal trainer who I have complete access to any time of the entire day. All I have to do is pull up the app and every day it delivers to me my own meditations that I can do in the morning, the afternoon, and when I'm winding down right before I sleep. That's actually what I love the most about the app so far is that I get my own set of self-guided meditations that I can follow along to every single day in the morning, afternoon, and night, and it's different every single day of the week. In just the first day alone, I've already been paying more attention to my body, my thoughts, and my emotions. And I'm also learning how to calm my mind down and I'm slowly building in that routine to meditate on a daily basis and to focus on my breath anytime I'm experiencing a stressful or really anxious situation. Week two. It's about 7 a.m. already and it's that time for us to dive into meditating for this morning. I can already feel a slight difference in my mental health. I feel overall less stressed out, less overwhelmed, and definitely less anxious even though it is a Monday and I know I have a lot of things coming up for work that I do have to take care of. So I'm ready to get started with Headspace for this morning. So let's dive into our first meditation. So week two is over and I can tell you already that I'm a lot calmer when I face problems at work. I used to get quite stressed out whenever I had to start a new project. I used to have a hard time stopping to think about things and I've noticed that just in the past two weeks, I would be much calmer. I've already finished the basics level one meditation course and I'm starting with the next level two of the basis course. Now, I like to use a technique from meditation that involves just taking three solid deep breaths in and out. And you'll be surprised when you do this technique how much more calm you'll be right afterwards. It's like this. You'll notice that when you're doing your deep breathing in this way, You'll count to four, hold in your breath for four, and then release your breath for six seconds. And it's so much more calming right after you do that breathing exercise than if you didn't do it at all. I can't tell you how much more calm I am right immediately afterwards. It completely changes not just my anxiety and my stress levels, but I just feel so much more calm. I encourage you to try it out. And it also causes me to be more aware of my body and the thoughts that are coming through in my mind. Now, of course, I can't control what I'm thinking, but I can just be a more passive observer of what is scrolling through my mind so I don't get easily distracted. So far, I am seeing the positive impact that meditating is having on my personal life and in my day job as a project manager at work. One of my favorite things about the Headspace app is that they have a dedicated section just for focusing. So when you go to the Explore tab and you click on Focus, they have such a wide variety of focus music and soundscapes that are designed to help you be calm and just to focus for a full hour or even two hours if you're working on something or you need to study for an upcoming exam. My personal favorite so far is a playlist by Hans Zimmer, the composer from the Batman series, John Legend, and some other lo-fi study beats. If you'd like to listen to sound from the forest, a lagoon, a canyon waterfall or a river that's all included in the Headspace meditation app as well. So there's such an incredible wide variety of focus music and sounds that can help you be more calm and more focused. It's week three, which means that it's time to start my meditation for this morning. I'm pulling out my Headspace app right now and I'll show you guys on the screen what my meditation uh, videos will be for today. 
I have a few for the morning, which I'm really excited to tackle. And then I have a few uh, throughout the day that I'll try to tackle as well. But in general, I'm just really excited to tackle this week and to see how my mental health will transform and change over the next few days. And of course, the next week. So third week, you guys, it's very easy to use the app. Every single day I'm using it, I'm telling you, you get different meditations and because you're invested into the app, you're holding yourself accountable to do the meditations. You start getting into that habit of automatically pulling up the Headspace app and using it to do guided meditations because you've already trained yourself and your mind to do it at specific times throughout the entire day. Something that I really love about Headspace is their daytime meditations, as well as the wide variety of courses that the app has to offer. The other day, I went for a meditative walk around my house and Headspace has a walking in the city guided meditation track that you can follow along, listen, and meditate while you're walking. Annie's voice is very calming and in less than 10 minutes, You'll be so much more aware of your body, what's around you, and you'll end up being less stressed out overall. My wife and I have actually started going through the trying to conceive meditation course right before we go to bed, and we've started listening to it every single night, and what we found is it's very relaxing, and it's actually helped decrease some of the anxieties that we've been feeling so far on our journey to get pregnant. You know, we've had some hardships, and we can relate to some of Eve's stories that she shares during the meditation and the track itself. And we're realizing that this is a journey and it's not just a single point destination. Just listening to her voice is so relaxing and it gives us a space for our minds to feel more at ease with trying to get pregnant and also to have a baby. Another thing that I've noticed is that I'm much more aware of my own breathing, tying it back to my breath and also being much more mindful of my own emotions and thoughts. I no longer get as overwhelmed or stressed out as easily as I did before, which for me is actually a huge win for me. The past week, I feel like I'm noticing that my mind is much more positive and less negative. I'm feeling really good and it's already been three weeks and I'm still very committed to using the Headspace app. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be starting week four and then I'll talk to you guys right afterwards and I'll give you an entire synopsis of how I'm feeling and my progress so far. So just because week four is over doesn't mean that I'm going to stop meditating with the Headspace app. I really love Headspace and I personally think that I'm going to stick with it. It's actually very sustainable and I'm going to be continuing with the program. Now, before I share with you my overall thoughts and impressions, I just wanna say that I really do think Headspace is worth it. While of course, you can't expect to be a whole new, different person in 30 days, you also have to be realistic with yourself. Using Headspace consistently every single day, it will set you up so that you have a healthy mindset so you can better manage your stress, your anxiety, and in general, just to be a little bit more positive. Realistically, this program all depends on what you put into it. If you don't do anything, then of course, you're not going to see any results for your mental health and your mental capacity. For me, I stuck with it every day. Now, of course, I didn't always make a meditation in the morning or the afternoon, but I did my best to have at least one meditation during each day. It doesn't take one entire hour to meditate. And I think that's what stops most people from trying meditation. Take it from my own experience, I'm a complete beginner when it comes to all of this meditation practices and all you really need is just five to 10 minutes. If you have 10 minutes to check Instagram, Facebook, or your email on your phone, then you absolutely have time to do a five to 10 minute meditation during your day. If you do this every single day for four weeks, you'll be surprised with how your mental health can change for the better. If you're new to meditation, just like I was, you definitely should consider giving Headspace a try for at least one full month. Headspace is perfect for you if 
You want to learn how to meditate. You want to take control over your own mental health and decrease your stress levels. If you want to take guided courses or you want a narrated guided meditation tracks that you can follow along with so you can be more mindful and less stressed out. The app offers so many variations in techniques so you'll get a ton of resources to find out what works best for you. For me, the app can easily integrate into your life and Headspace offers so many different courses from sleep to anxiety management. Five minutes a day is literally all that it takes and Headspace has helped me build and just gain a better composure in my mind so I'm not yelling when something off the cuff happens or when a complete stranger cuts me off on the road on the freeway when I'm driving during my one hour commute to work or just bottling anger all up inside of me and having all these different emotions. So yeah, in general, Headspace is completely worth it, at least with my experience. Growing up, I used to sleep with no noise in the background, but as I've gotten older, I like to sleep with some white noise in the background and Headspace helps me fall asleep with their sleep casts and their soundscapes. Overall, I honestly feel more mentally healthy I feel a lot better about myself and I really do feel a bit of a difference inside of me. Another big thing that I've noticed is that I'm much more aware of my own thoughts, my emotions, and learning how to ground myself and bring myself back to my breath anytime I'm feeling doubt, stress, or anxiety. We all deserve to be happy and just taking care of our own mental health space so we can live the life that we want. So I encourage you, if you're feeling overwhelmed or maybe you're feeling completely stressed out by work or in your personal life, try out Headspace at least for their free 14-day trial. If you're interested, check out the links in the description bar down below. I'm definitely going to stick with Headspace. I've actually already started a new course called Letting Go of Stress, which is 30 days long, and I'm excited to see what happens over the next year. If you've already used Headspace, comment down below and let me know how you feel about it and what your experience was. I know that this program may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is working for me. I feel like a much better and a more positive person, and that's why I'm recommending and why I'm sharing it with you. If my mental health journey inspires or encourages you, check out the links that I'll be sharing in the description bar down below to try out Headspace, and you'll be surprised with how much your mental health can change for the better in less than four weeks, just like it did for me. I will hopefully make a second video of my review of the entire Headspace app. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash the like button if you gain value out of this, and I'll see you in the next video.